Last Friday, July 28, which was about a day or two after a major typhoon hit our country, I went out of the house to continue the tasks that I have been doing since June. Most of these errands and tasks are all connected together towards one major goal, while the rest are just the usual tasks required for the maintenance of life. <laughs> while walking to my first task, let me just show you the shoes that I'm wearing. I've had these shoes for many years. I bought them to use in the gym at my old dorm. Videos about my dorm will be linked down below. And these shoes kind of fell apart during the pandemic because I have not used them during the pandemic but i got them stitched back together and now they're as good as new i'm also wearing a plain maxi dress i have decided to completely change my wardrobe considering my advancing age which brings with it hot flashes and also random itchiness of the skin because of fluctuating estrogen levels so <laughs> i really don't like anything touching my skin no waistband and anything the plain maxi dresses seem to achieve that goal but for comfort and also for safety i prefer wearing rubber shoes still Anyway, when I got to where my first task should have been, which was to pick up three different documents from my college alma mater, I was told that the administrative offices were closed for the day because of a university event. So I walked back to my car and drove to my next task, which was at this other university to get yet another document, which I have already requested. When I got to the gate, the office where I was supposed to go to was closed and the security guard told me that that particular office was closed for the day because the entire staff was at a training so I was told to go back on the Monday after. Okay, so the first two tasks for the day involving a total of four different documents were already foiled. <laughs> That is all right. I decided to just move on with other tasks. Location number three is the Barangay Hall of San Felipe because I had to inquire about something. And I did get the information that I needed because when I arrived at the top of the stairs, I saw the Barangay Chairman right away. So I asked him and he gave me the information that I needed. So finally, I could strike that off my task list already, which is the first task that I have actually accomplished for the day. The next task was to return this item to the seller that sent it to me. It was the wrong size and I really wanted to keep it, but it doesn't fit and I could not wear this. So location number four was J&T Express. I dropped off the item and I let the staff scan the barcode that I had for the return and I was given this as a receipt. Location number five is JRS Express because I needed to mail these th this big bag of waterproof vinyl stickers to Reggie. I had a giveaway on my YouTube channel recently and Reggie was the winner so I am sending these off. 
And I do like mailing things here in JRS Express because I have a loyalty card and mail is just cheaper compared with LBC. It is now 12 noon, but while I am still here inside JRS, let me just show you the super large and deep pockets that my maxi dress has. This left pocket has my keys. And you know what's in my keychain. There's a lot of things in my keychain and everything fits right in with a lot of room to spare. The right pocket is exactly the same. I can drop my phone inside it. And right now I even have my fit over sunglasses in there already. I will link this dress in the description box. I'm really enjoying the pockets and the super long length and the fabric which feels soft and cool and it's very comfortable. After 20 minutes, I arrived at location number six, which is SM, because this is where I buy those Seagull branded, good quality clear book, clear book refills or uh, document sleeves that I needed. And I was also thirsty. It is already lunchtime, but I wasn't hungry, just very thirsty. So I wanted to get my Iscon Hielo here. When I got inside, it was quite noisy because apparently there was an event at the ground floor. I'm walking on the second floor. It is very noisy. Let me just put on the original sound here for a few seconds so you will see what I mean. And while I was on my way to the food court, I remembered to drop by the vaccine center that had been put up here to ask if they already had the second COVID booster that I needed. The last time I was here, I asked and they told me that they didn't have the booster that was the right match for my primary vaccine and my first booster. But now that I'm here, I decided to ask and turns out they had the booster, but it's for a limited people only specifically for healthcare workers and senior citizens and persons with disability. And because I am a person with disability, they checked my previous vaccination records and confirmed that they can give me the vaccine that I needed and then gave me the forms to fill out and did the medical screening. It was quick. There was not much people being given the boosters because it's for a specific group of people only, which just happened to include me. But after they gave me the booster, they made me wait for about 30 minutes for observation, just in case I get a bad reaction to the medicine. And the noise was really overwhelming, but thankfully I always have my AirPods with me inside this black and yellow case. These are always inside my bag. And sometimes I wear them, not even to listen to music from my phone, but just to dampen or lessen the noise from my environment. And this works for that purpose because of the silicone ear tips. Finally, when I didn't show any signs of an allergic reaction, I was cleared to go. Because of the AirPods, the sound was not so overwhelming anymore, but let me just show you what all the rucus was about. There is a car related event on the ground floor and there are musicians performing live. The music was all right, it was actually quite nice, but the sound level is just so overwhelming. It was way too loud. And there's also other people making just noise, not music, they were just making noise. I couldn't handle it, so yay for the AirPods. Finally, I could now get my Maiz Con Hielo from Ice Blink. I ordered just that, just the Maiz Con Hielo, and it was a quick wait, maybe just five minutes or even less. This is Maiz Con Hielo, which is Spanish for corn with ice. It's corn kernels, which are at the bottom, and crushed ice, and grated cheese, and ice cream. I think this is mango flavored ice cream, and some small cereal chips at the top. And of course, there's milk in here and sugar. I showed the Maiz Con Hielo before in a previous vlog, but that was in a takeout cup. But this is the regular serving dish for when the customer wants to dine in the premises. The way to eat it is to just mix everything together and that's it. While eating the Maiz Con Hielo, and I already had my AirPods on, I watched a couple of YouTube videos about van life and one about mechanical keyboards. I did not rush. I took my time because the sound no longer bothered me. But at 1.37, I decided to move to my next 
task which was still inside SM. I needed to buy those clear book refills at National Bookstore. I needed the legal size which had 27 holes. I needed two of them, but then I noticed that finally, more actual clear books that are Seagull branded have arrived and are in stock, and I have been waiting for these, like I mentioned in a previous vlog. And they have quite a lot too. I like this dark green one. And the best thing about getting the Seagull branded clear books is that they have the refills with the oblong holes, as you can see here. I have explained before how these are the ones that will fit in standard three hole and two hole binders. This terracotta colored one also looks nice and also the purple. This neon green, however, is not for me. There are also other Seagull branded clear books that have semi-transparent covers, like this hot pink one. The color is not for me, but this smoky black or smoky gray one is something I, I, I know I would be able to use. I need a lot, you guys. Remember, I am building one thick, fat clear book. That's just for the one major goal. I have an, I have other government things that need separate clear books so it would be a good idea to stock up on the actual clear books now and each clear book already has 20 sleeves so i don't need to buy these two packs of refills for now each refill pack has only 10 sleeves by the way because I will be buying the terracotta, the purple, the dark green, and the smoky gray, that means I have a total of 80 sleeves in all. This should be enough for now. Here is the total that I paid. Each clear book costs 185 pesos. But the refills, I remember, they cost 68 pesos for a pack of 10. 20 refills therefore costs 136 pesos. So buying the full clear books is the better deal, but that's if and only if you actually need the covers, which I do. Now it is time to leave SM and drive to location number seven, which is the Bureau of Internal Revenue, because I needed to make a specific inquiry. They gave me this queuing number for the priority lane, but I think their clock is off. It says 1.55 p.m., but it's already 2.14 in the afternoon. But it was a quick inquiry. I got the information that I needed. They gave me this long list of requirements that I now need to comply with. Location number eight is in the City Hall compound. I have two different offices here that I need to go to. The first office is this place right here. This is the Persons with Disability Affairs office because I needed to follow up on something that is connected to the Department of Health. This was also a quick transaction. I was in and out in less than 10 minutes. The next office that I needed to go to in this location is City Hall. I needed to make another inquiry here and also a different list of requirements, which I was able to get quickly. So two tasks for location number eight, all done. Location number nine is the Department of Trade and Industry.
they already have some of the most basic information on here right outside their building so their clients are able to get information even before they enter the building and talk to a person. The form I needed was right with the security guard outside of the building, so that's what I got. I encountered some traffic while driving to the next location, but that was alright. I have already been able to accomplish so much so far that I was no longer in a hurry. I was already approaching the end of my task list for the day, so I knew I could take it easy from here on out. I also knew that the next location had absolutely no parking slots available so I decided to just park in this paid parking right here and just walk to where I needed to go. Finally, we are at location number 10, which is a notary public. I needed an affidavit notarized. This document is part of a set of documents that I have to send to the National Library next week. While walking back to where I was parked, let me just show you the Plaza Quince Martires, which is Spanish for Plaza for the 15 Martyrs of Bicol. Let me show you who the 15 Martyrs are. So we have to walk around this sculpture right here. And finally, I am at location number 11, which is SNR. I needed to renew my membership card. My previous membership was in Metro Manila, but I don't live there anymore. SNR opened here recently, so I just went ahead and renewed my membership. I was with my favorite person who also got a membership card of his own. After we got our cards, we were able to get inside and have a look around. 
I got this big jar of green tangerine and chamomile tea, and according to the instructions, it can be made with either hot or cold water, and you only need two to three teaspoons. I also got this banana chocolate cake, and this glazed fruit loaf, both are for the house. And because I was thirsty again, I also picked up a bottle of this green tea with ginseng and honey, and I drank it while we were walking around. And I also added this Ben Apple loaf that I wanted to give to a friend. The total cost of the stuff that I got was 920 pesos and 50 centavos. It is already 6 minutes past 6 in the evening and I'm actually already home. I did have a writing class scheduled for that same evening but my arm was starting to hurt because of the vaccine booster and I felt a little feverish so I went to bed early and ended up skipping the class. This tea was very very nice. I think it's going to be my new favorite.